Good morning, it's Phil Thatch here, and it's just early in the morning. The sun's starting to come up. Ah, maybe the sun's been up 45 minutes or so, but not real long, and it rained overnight, and I came out just to kind of roll in the garbage can uh, that I had failed to get yesterday afternoon after they picked up the garbage, and I really liked the way the light was shining across this way and onto these petunias right here in Heather's garden. So uh, I thought, why not? I'll run inside and and uh, grab the Tokina 100 f2.8 macro and the FTZ and the Z6 and I've got them I've got them on my little Manfrotto pixie uh, tripod I had a, a viewer ask about how the balance was of uh, this lens on this camera and you know when the FTZ has a uh, tripod mount on it and even this tiny little tripod uh, holds it really nicely so uh, the balance is great. Of course, you know the Tokina 100 2.8 is it's kind of a it's a it's a pretty lightweight lens, really, even though it's 100 millimeters and an f 2.8. Um, so I'll show you these petunias that I really like the way the light was hitting them and the way they're sitting. I haven't moved them at all. Uh, this is just the way it is, and I'll show you the settings for this photo next. So there's the settings. ISO 100, of course, and then I, with this lens, when I'm shooting a single shot, non-stacked macro, I always pull the uh, f-stop down as low as I can get it, and at this distance, that would be f40, and to get the exposure right, it's one half a second. It's really pretty easy to set up with this camera. I put the I put the focus point here, and I thought I would make that be the the uh, most important part of the image, and then. You got some juxtaposition here of these flowers, so that's going to be the subject, and then two more. And then you can just dial this manual focus lens until that red box turns green. Sometimes that, there we go. And then use the remote shutter release and fire off a few shots. Now the light, you know, I'm using natural lighting here as the sun comes up and it's it's kind of a cloudy day so the so the light continues to change. So I'm making quite a few of these until I can find the one in post that looks the very best. But I just, you know, when I was coming out here, first of all, there's the petunias get really beat up um, when it rains and almost all of the flowers look really rough this morning and those two were pointing right at the sun catching great morning light and they weren't beat up uh, i mean there's probably a hundred petunias in this bed but those two right together really caught my eye and i had no intentions of making this video or this photograph this morning uh, i just came out here to take in the garbage can like i said but you know when you see something really pretty and you got a camera uh, nearby and you got time why not go get it and make the shot here's a view of the rest of the flower bed you you might see the the daisy pot back there the blue pot those daisies have been used in a few of my videos recently and here's the petunias and you can see the z6 on the manfrotto pixie tripod and like I say most of those petunias look pretty beat up after having it rain all night but that particular pair or maybe even trio right there that one really caught my eye here's another view of the setup the Tokina 100 f 2.8 and I have the lens hood on this morning which normally I don't put it on but uh, I didn't have a place to set it down that was convenient so I just put it on um, the, the actual elements are back pretty far inside the lens, so it almost has a natural lens hood without using it, but uh, why not? Uh, anyway, and the FTZ adapter and the Nikon Z6 on this tiny little tripod. I use that tripod uh, for vlogging sometimes. I'll connect it to my very small vlogging camera that's making this video right now. But it holds the Z6 and the Tokina 100 f 2.8 just fine. No slippage or anything. Okay, I'll go work on that picture and get it published as soon as I can. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you liked it, give it the old thumbs up. That always helps and is appreciated. And uh, I'll show you the photo right after this. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
I usually don't talk during this portion of the video, but I wanted to mention that I was really struggling to get the white balance in a way that I liked. And finally, I ended up using a feature of Lightroom called split toning, and I made it where the highlights of the image had a kind of a warm tone and the shadows I cooled down a little bit, which is a great feature of Lightroom. And here is the final product.